Hello, good afternoon. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna be in front of the camera today. I have a topic I wanna talk about. Now, um, it's been pretty apparent to me in the last week to week and a half that I'm actually having an issue that uh, I need to address for my own personal, um, my own personal, uh, you know, sanity, well-being, whatever. And that is going to have to be that I just, I can't go to these meetings anymore. Um, they're causing me to get into arguments with people because they want to try to help me. And, you know, and by help me, they mean that, you know, well, one of them turned me on to AA because she told me AA was supposed to be um, non-religious. That ended up being so far from the truth, it's not even funny. Um, see, I'm, I'm looking for, I guess, a lot of people have been posting about secular, and I had to look up what that meant, because I'd never heard that before. So, so I was looking up secular groups, or se secular meetings, and the only thing I can find in my area is stuff for online because they don't ha offer anything in my area for uh, secular meetings. So I have decided that I'm not going to any more AA meetings. I'm not going to celebrate recovery anymore. I just, um, I can't lie to myself by going to celebrate recovery just because I like going and socializing with people. Um, I... I just can't. I can't do it anymore. Uh, somebody, you know, I had this earworm in my head the other day. Uh, actually, it was all last, well, actually, well, I shouldn't say it was an earworm. Actually, I was listening to my, I was, uh, I took my daughter out for lunch um, last week because my, this high school was only, was doing testing for um, our area's SATs. We call them ACTs. Um, and they were testing 11th graders, so 12th, 10th, and 9th graders didn't have to show up for school. So my 9th grader and I went to have lunch, and there was this song playing, "Is Story of My Life. I only know that because my daughter said it, because I didn't even know. I just was hearing it in the background because they were playing it at the restaurant we were at. And I'm like, hey, I know this song. And she's like, yeah, I know this song too. I wish I didn't. And I'm like... No, like, I know this song from Celebrate Recovery, because Celebrate Recovery plays Christian music, or, you know, uh, before before the meetings, before the main meeting, um, and I could have swore I heard it in there, so anyway, then I, I, I text this one lady, I'm like, hey, do you get, you know, do you happen to know if uh, Celebrate Recovery plays, you know, Story of My Life, because that's what my daughter called it, um, and she's like, I don't think we should text anymore. Texting doesn't seem to be a good medium for us because you you seem to take everything I say and twist it into negative things. And I'm like, uh, all I respond to is, um, okay. So I said, fuck it. Just give her a big old, fuck it. Fuck you, basically. <laughs> I tried, man. Um, yeah, when she sits there and tells me that um, you know, you can pick whatever you want as your higher power. Many times she said that to me, and I had to keep repeating. There is no... F oh my god, I almost knocked my stuff off the that counter here. Some glasses. There is no fucking higher power. God, I got so pissed at her. Uh, see, this is why I have to stop going, because I can't have this negative in my life. I need to... Let it all go. I mean, I did a whole morning of videos just because I was angry about how she treated me in a text. And she's telling me that I'm treating her like crap or I'm twisting her words around. Well, fine. She can see it however she wants. But I know how to text people because that's how people text these days. That's how everybody talks now. Nobody ever calls hardly anymore. Um, well anybody younger anyway. <laughs> I guess my age people still call, you know, like I call uh, one of my friends. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. If you're gonna say, call me when you get back home, 
and I call you and you don't answer and then you ignore all my texts, yeah, that makes me mad too because then it's like, why tell me to call you and then just ignore me and then ignore all my texts? So it's like, ugh. So it's just, I need to stop with this whole uh, meeting thing. I obviously don't, I mean, I was doing, I, I have, I, you know, I did, I recovered off of meth and, you know, other narcotic, meth, you know, other narcotic drugs on my own anyway. And I did the same thing with alcohol, but, you know, and I only started going around, what, the 18 and 16 week mark or 16 month, month mark. It's like I did 16 months of sobriety before I started even thinking about meetings. I don't need that place to be sober, so I don't know. Um, I just I just can't do it anymore because um, getting into too many arguments with people who want to help me become agnostic or, you know, Christian or whatever, you know, and they can't respect that I'm atheist, I don't believe in certain things, it's just not going to happen, and... You know, I respect other people's religion. Like when we went to celebrate recovery and they prayed, I just sat quietly, bobbed my head, put, clasped my hands, or like stood if everybody else was standing, I'd just stand um, and quietly, you know, give them their respect and, you know, let them pray. But I don't get that respect back. It's rather annoying. Anyway, I just wanted to make a quick little video before I have to go for a walk. So, uh, yeah, I'm no longer going to be going to... Uh, sobriety meetings. I just, I can't do it unless there's a secular, you know, non-God related, not, no God in the steps, you know, um, type of meeting. Otherwise, I just can't do it. So, okay, you have a great rest of your day. I'll try to, you know, I, I'll try to do some kind of crafting tonight, but I might not. It just, because uh, Sunday is when my kids do their homework and, you know, got to be quiet and stuff. So, all right, well, you have a great rest of your day. Go take a nice walk. It's beautiful out. Well, here in Minnesota, it's nice anyway. I mean, uh, it's 40, so it's above, it's above freezing. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, still got a bunch of snow outside, so I can't do any outside work. But, you know, that just means allergy season's coming up. <laughs> okay, all right, bye.